Hi, my friends. This is one that I am a little backlogged on. Uh, I was actually considering waiting for a third model, but no. Um, so, we have a super showdown. Um, Auto World, in their modern muscle, has this 1993 Toyota Supra in Alpine Silver. This is the first release of our all-new Toyota Supra. We've tooled two different hoods, two front variations, and an optional rear spoiler to cover 1993 to 1998. In Europe, only turbo models of the 4th Gen Super were available. They also featured a small air scoop on the hood, which this one does not. So, of course, this, uh, this is, you know, a very famous car, Fast and Furious, the original movie, the orange... Supra that Brian had to get for Dom to prove his loyalty, and of course, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, this is a this is a brand new. It says copyright twenty twenty, but this is a twenty twenty one release. Oh no, hold on. Collect all six in twenty twenty release five. Was this a twenty twenty? Let's see. Silverado F. Uh, Dodge shelf. Oh, okay, yeah, so these, and I have, um, I have the white Jeep, I have the red Cadillac, um, let's see, I have a Silverado, I have an XLT, I have a Stepside Chevy, uh, and I have a Dodge Stealth. So I have... Not all of version A or B. It's it's sort of a, I have, uh, I think both. Actually, I think I have two of these black XLTs and the silver. I have one with the custom painted rims from Rick and the silver. I have, maybe it's a different Silverado. Maybe it's not the LTZZ1, but I have one in uh, red, I think. Or is it blue? I have the Jeep in white, I'm pretty sure. Just don't see it directly in front of me. I have the Cadillac in maroon, and I have the Dodge Stealth in red. Uh, and the uh, Stepside Chevy in black. So that's pretty cool. So we'll be comparing this to this TSM model Mini GT Miho exclusive. Um, Toyota Supra Renaissance Red, number 46. And I believe this is also a 2020 or 2021. Uh, there's all the information there. Let's see. Miho, there's your licensing, M&J Toys. And so these should compare very well. These are both, um, you know, True 164 and 1, so they're both well known to be very accurate as far as scale and details. So let's get the auto world off the card here. And I, I have to say, I still miss the auto world boxes. Um, I get it. Uh, auto world are such a great price when you find them on the pegs that I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, uh, Auto Worlds are um, just under $6 in Walmart. So, uh, metal body, metal base, uh, riveted together, uh, painted details, no inserts, I don't believe. So, let's take a look. So, uh, we have a license plate. I'm sure it's going to be Cal California, I think. Hold on. I think it just says Supra. Yeah, nicely printed. The uh, taillights, again, are just printed. The Supra, the Toyota emblem, Toyota, the third stoplight. You can see that the... So, here's... Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. So... This is not just printed. The windshield wiper seems to be... Is it, can it be molded into both the metal and the plastic for the glass? Because there is 
I can feel that it's raised. Um, so that's actually very good. Very nice details. Let's pull out a little here. Um, love these, their take on these wheels. This is how I remember them as street vehicles. So mirrors, no reflective paint. They're just sort of molded there on the door, which is fine. The windows are down. So this is a left-hand drive for Europe or United States. Uh, now, let's see. Are those? Those are, I believe, lensed headlights. Uh, yeah. So good for Auto World. Those are not Tampo headlights. Those are inserted, lensed inserts. Um, nice air intakes there. You can see a little orange in there for the turn indicators. That's pretty cool. Uh, reflectors there. This is actually very well done. I mean, should we expect less from Auto World? Uh, Auto World generally does not do um, inserted details unless they have to, and I guess for the headlights here they had to. A lot of stuff is done with printing, but even this even this scoop here is cast in there and then has a little black printing there. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if the hood opens. It is a distinct possibility on an auto world, and I think it does. Yes, it does. So, not a lot of color underneath there, just, but it does have an opening hood, and the shut lines are good. So that's a damn nice model. That is sweet. Very nice. So now let's open up the Mini GT. A Mini GT is going to beat <laughs> Auto World at their own game. There's the box. Thank you, M and J. Thank you, Miho Toys. Um, because they they they. They insist on the clamshell, but they at least include the box, which I believe overseas is you, you get the box, but not the clamshell. So, and the artwork is very nice on this. And I may try and keep that, but I mean, it's not, it's not as important to me as, as the box. The box is always... I do not have a huge collection of Mini GT because I do not do a lot of racing and rally cars. Uh, I prefer stock street cars. So, uh, yeah. Just not a lot. Um, the way I look at it, it's not quantity, it's quality of pieces. And for me, these were the Mini GTs I wanted. There's actually a couple missing. And you can see a heavy lean towards streetcars. M3, C8, uh, M4, 911 GT2 RS, uh, RS6 Avant, Civic Type R, 190 Evo, the only is the uh, Camel uh, Camel Trophy Mini GT Land Rover Defender 90. Um, so let's get this out. And love the paint job. Metal body, metal base. Not a lot of information. Now, what was good is, um, you know, by watching other channels, you'll learn different things. So Dan over at Dicastrum said that he had been in contact with TSM, with Mini GT, and he had said to them, you know, it would be nice if you put some printed information on the bottom of the casting, sort of like um, the other manufacturers, you know. Um, you know, what kind of car is it, you know. Um, and so 
they apparently are starting to do that, but not with this. So again, um, now, the Auto World doesn't have the spoiler. This one does, but that's okay, because stock, they came with the spoiler. The um, We're going to zoom in again, compare the printing. So you can see Super, the Toyota badging, the taillights, very similar. Um, the uh, license plate saying Supra, the defroster lines, but no windshield wiper from Mini GT. So um, the tailpipe looks good. So the tailpipe from Waterworld is ah, it's cast into the base and it's just there. It's raw metal. Um, the tail lights look a little crisper from Mini GT. The tail lights and the exhaust look better, but you have to give it to Auto World because instead of going for the defroster lines, they have the wiper. Very nice printed reflector. These wheels, so of course, Mini GT gets the nod for the wheels because they actually have the Toyota emblem on the center cover. Uh, black trim around the windows. The mirrors are, I think there are uh, plastic. There's no reflective silver there, but oh, um, they've done a nice job. So this again is a left-hand drive. Continental Europe of the United States, not JDM. And of course, lensed headlights. They also did a good job of printing the turn indicators there in those vents. You can see the radiator there. This is a screwed base. So these are both very nice models. Let's just check for scale. I'm going to assume that they're going to be dead on and it looks like they are exactly the same length width um, just accounting for the wing so the details on these are so close I'm gonna let this spin around and so uh, both have printed taillights both have insert inserted headlights both have very good printed details. Um, both have authentic rims, but Mini GT does them just a little bit better. Um, both have metal base, metal body, rubber tires. Um, both roll well. They both have side mirrors. Mini GT does it better. Um, So now here's the thing. The Auto World is a $6 model. The Mini GT, that's a $15 model. So for value, Auto World all the way. For the very few details that Mini GT does better, Auto World just knocks it out with the price. Um, Auto World has the opening hood, Mini GT. No. Other than the Corvette, actually, you know what? I don't even. Uh, I'm pretty sure even the Corvette. So I don't think I don't think Mini GT does any opening hoods at all. So what do I have now? Nine Mini GT. I have far more uh, Auto World than I have Mini GT. I love both brands. Um, I would say that as far as the details, Mini GT outdid Auto World, but not by much. And for value, you cannot go wrong with the Auto World. Uh, yes, I missed the box. I can get over that. Um, they're both stunning. I got silver because I'm not particularly crazy about white. Um, 
and I don't think black or red was available when I was looking. Um, let's see. Does it even show? So this is collect all and release 2021 release one. So I don't know what the other colors. This is uh, version A. So let me know what you think. Um, so I had seen Small Model Collector had a, another brand. Um, honestly, I forget the name of the brand, but I have it on my watch list on eBay. So who knows? I may revisit my uh, my uh, 90s Supras. Uh, it's funny because I keep on saying that I don't particularly like Toyota. Uh, and then I keep on getting some very, very cool Toyotas. I mean, um, there's this beautiful GCD um, Land Cruiser. Um, this absolutely stunning Kyosho FJ Cruiser. And I, of course, do not want to forget one of my favorite Kyoshos, that Supra. So I guess whenever I say in a video, I don't collect, take that with a grain of salt. Um, so like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Um, which one of these Supras would you go for and why? Um, for those that have to do this on a budget, which are all of us, um, I think the no-brainer is go for the Auto World if you can get it on the pegs. I do not know what they go for mail order or yeah. Um, but now that I've seen these two, I'd really love to see this from NO64. Um, that would be a very interesting. I only have one or two. N064. Um, so either N064 or, um, yeah, maybe even BM Creations. Um, I'm not going to chase them. I think, I think I'm pretty good so far with my Super Collection. Uh, but um, rambling now. So uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, have a great weekend for those in the United States and Canada uh, celebrating Labor Day weekend. Uh, enjoy your three-day weekend. Uh, for those um, around the world, just you know, be well, and I will talk to you soon. I'll probably do another video tomorrow.